Finish your preparations. We head out momentarily. Sithis, blind me. Be there other living mortals in this wretched waste? You're the first swab I've seen who still has meat on their bones. A whirlpool. It pulled in our ship and dropped us here. We fell right out of the sky. We went looking for the shipwrecks of the lost fleet. Never expected to find them in another world entirely. These and a few others. I sent the rest with my first mate, Jalan, up that canyon to investigate the nearest wreck. I'm about to leave these lovers to check out a second wreck. Anything we find will be more than we have now. We're off to search the second wreck. I'd be obliged if you could follow Jalan's wake and see what's keeping him. Bring him along to the other wreck, so's I can dress him down for being a lazy lackwit. If he ain't dead, that is. Ask away, mate, but be quick about it. We need to move out soon. Many a year I've sailed the seas around Tamriel, but I've never seen its like. It was vast, larger than all Alton Coromont, and it spun up all sudden-like. No wonder sailors call the waters around Thras the Cursed Sea. We were searching for the shipwrecks of the All Flags fleet. Do you know the legend? Scores of ships lost at sea, each one loaded with loot. I found the log of Admiral Olo's navigator. That told me how to find the Thras Archipelago, or where it used to be before it mostly sank. Olo had himself a good navigator, all right. Her directions led me right into the maw of that whirlpool. Treasure, of course. It's a legend in Alton Coromont that some of our swabs sailed in the fleet that sacked Thras. The ones who survived came home loaded with loot. If my ancestors could do it, so can I. I. That'd be a fine end to our adventure. We find the Great Lost Fleet, and then we walk away from it. We lost too many crewmates finding this place. We owe it to them to do at least a little plundering before we pack it in. I'm sticking with the captain. If anyone can get us out of here, she can. This is a bad place. A very bad place. It chills my scales. Lunk likes the pretty sky. And the rocks. Lunk likes rocks. scared me out of my pelt. At least there's flesh on your face. Where did you come from? Oh, she did, did she? And where were you when my crew was being killed by walking skeletons? No matter. It's just you and me now. You, me, and this door. And the door is stuck. Oh, I, but it'll make a lot of noise. Likely to attract more of those bony swabs. Tell you what. I'll work on the door if you'll keep the bone boys off me. Deal? Coming in. Look at all this treasure. Wait. What's happening? I feel strange.
cursed. Daedra, take it. Cursed. A curse on all curses. My crew. They got excited and rushed to grab the treasure. The gold. It turned them into skeletons. Then some kind of specter appeared and ordered my own crew to attack me. I had to kill them. Curse the luck. Now we find the spook that ensorcelled my crew and destroy it. Wasting good treasure by putting a curse on it. Now that's foul play by Sithis. Aye, that I did. And I swear on the blood of me crew that Spook will pay for this wicked trick. You have come to a very bad place. Have you come to kill us, Lizard Bones? No, I have come to save you. Listen to me, child. Why are you here? Why have you come searching for this damned fleet of the lost? Treasure? You won't find that here. But revenge? Aye, revenge might just be possible. Find the Admiral and destroy him. He's using the ruins of the fleet to build his coral tower. He wants to reach the portal in the sky. We're his slaves, working endlessly to make his mad desires come true. There are many who wish we could rebel, but the Admiral holds the crown of bones. Morlock Ball himself gave him that terrible relic. With it, the Admiral controls the cursed skeletons of the fleet. But you aren't cursed yet. I hid the final chapter of my journal in the hold of my ship, the Golden Era. It's docked at the Skeleton Village. My journal holds the key to reaching the Admiral's Sanctuary. You want to help them to Sona, eh? Fool, you can't defy no, the crown I can't. of bones. Not my own blood. Kill them. <laughs> Most entertaining. That Admiral spook Sith is sink him seems to control all the skeletons. And he did. He showed me the Admiral's control isn't absolute. Meet me at the Wreck of the Golden Era, and we'll find his hidden journal. I see your skin is still on your bones. I searched the rest of the ship, but there's no sign of the journal. Did you have better luck? Did you indeed? That be well. Let me see it. I have a plan, but it only includes me. Hmm. Maybe I will at that. Let me see that journal, mate. What's this? Alton Coromont. Sithis, take it. This is not but the ravings of a madman. Where's the secret he promised? Ah, that'll be the key that gets us into the Admiral. Or rather, you. I need you to get that crown of bones thing. I've got another task ahead of me. Oh, I do. And I've seen you in action, so I expect to get it. But the dead skeletons had mates in his crew from my village. That makes them relatives even ancestors may have. I think I can use that connection to break their bondage. Worth a try. 
The key must open the Admiral's Coral Tower. Take it. Enter the tower and kill the Admiral. As for me, it's my duty to look up me dead relatives and see what I can do to help them, even if it's only to lay them to rest. Go on, mate. If things go well, I'll see you when this is all over. Would you do a mate a favor? I'd wager a meat walker like you would like to put your hands on some treasure that ain't cursed. I could arrange that. Help me up to this mortifying predicament, mate. I'm too willful for the Admiral's crown to work on me. So he had me busted to bits and me bones thrown away. And the only thing worse than being a living skeleton is being just a talking skull. Smash up some of these weak-willed swabs and bring me a new set of bones. When I get back on my feet again, I'll reward you handsome-like with loot and all. <laughs> what do you say, mate? Hurry up. I ain't getting any younger. Don't think I don't know what you're up to. Now die! yet. Oh, quick work, mate. Now pick up my skull, add it to the lot, and put the whole kit and caboodle on the ground over there. I'll be doing the rest. of me words, so here, take this. I'll be off with ya. I got some vengeance to bestow on them what busted me up. Now you're in for it, you weak world swabs. You persist in your folly. Well then, come in and be killed. what I found. Some long-lost relatives. The shock of seeing me has knocked them out from under the crown's control. But it won't last. That'd be the crown right there. What are you going to do with it, mate? That there crown of bones, it's cursed be like. You could destroy it. That might set the sailors free, or it might destroy them. I have another proposition for you. Give the crown to me. Aye, but Molog Ball made it for the Admiral, not for me. I know a trick or two I learned from an old shaman. I think I can use the crown on the sailors one by one to set their souls free. But first... First we go up against Molog Ball. That's a swab what needs taken down a peg. And I'm just the lizard to do it.
Stand back then, mate, while I put on the crown. If I turn on you, strike me down. Do it quick-like. There's a good chum.